This game is one big message from Sega. That message is thus. Link is a huge wuss. We don't need a Master Sword to kick some serious butt. Haha, <laughs> take that, Nintendo. We'll go back to Beyond Oasis. Previously, we learned all about Ali and his treasure hunting habits. And that landed him with a gold armlet that cursed him with an adventure to go find spirits. One of them should be in here. Let's go and check it out. This first area is pretty much a how to not die dungeon. Teaches you how to not die. And you'll get a spirit for your efforts. A lot of the rooms will just entail kill everything in the room, a door will open. And sometimes you'll get presents like a roast beef. But there's another way out of this room that doesn't involve murder. If you're going for a pacifist run, you can just sneak through here. And into here for some secrets. A sword! But it doesn't have 10 uses, it has 50. Oh, that is a great sword. I'll keep that around. Thank you. And also in here is a secret. Elixir! Elixirs are fairies in this game. If you die with an elixir in your pocket, you'll revive yourself. That's very helpful because you if you die, it affects you negatively. As in, you'll have to start over. Yep, only one life in this game. This is not Gunman's Proof. And as you can see, since this is a brawler type game, the enemies are going to palace swap really, really quickly. Like this caveman guy. He doesn't look the same as we beat him up in the village. This is because his twin brother. The ogre type enemies are pretty powerful if you stick around close to them, because they'll try to knock you over with their backhand. But otherwise, they're complete chums. It's like these guys. I actually think the soldiers are a little harder than the ogres, because they have all those weapons. They'll shoot arrows at you. They'll try to hit you with a sword, or with their fists. Not fun. Oh, that looks like a secret, but I can't get over there. I need a grapple hook or something. Or a grapple knife. Can I grapple my way over there? How about I flip? No, that's not how it works. Darn. Oh well, might as well press on. These are the puddle enemies! These are pretty much the slimes of Beyond Oasis. They're kind of inconsequential, and if they jump into you or shoot pellets at you, it hurts. The top left one here, this top left right red one, has a key in it. All the rest of them will respawn after a while, so don't bother with them. Let's just get out of here. Into the tidal wave room! Your best chance is to walk against the current and jump whenever a tidal wave's coming. If you don't, that happens! Do not let it! It'll push you right out of the room. It's mean like that. Do not truck with water. Also, do not truck with giant enemy crabs! You're gonna get a sword, my good sir. A sword to the face. Maybe a sword combo! Ah! I've been practicing! Oh, actually... I didn't mention it before, but you can crouch stab, too. I shouldn't do that in front of a giant enemy crab. They'll try to grab me with his claws. Try and destroy that claw if you could. Like that. Yeah, that takes care of one annoying problem, but it makes another one for us. He's gonna go Blaster Master on us. Stop that! Stop that! You are not the Blaster Master Crab. I will slash you until you behave. Trying to use super moves on this guy uh, when he's doing the bubble thing will just get you hurt. Try not doing it. Just, just go with the basic out. Alright, I cannot attack you from down there. Come over here. Ah! Hate crabs! They're up there with bats. They're getting there. Uh, at least I kept my sword, at least. What the heck is this? Um, I don't have a key for this kind of door. Not without dinner, you're not! Hey, what the heck is that? It just filled up! I have blue now! What does blue mean? Well, it means I can do this. I can shoot a light ball with the armlet now. And that's the key to these types of doors. What do we got? I got a cube! It's Ditto, the water spirit. Yay, I got my first spirit. It's a watery type spirit. She'll appear to you whenever you use the armlet on water. Any kind of water. Actually, even the puddle enemies will work. I'll show that off eventually. Yay for Ditto! Even though she's blue, she's, she's actually quite useful. She is not the weapon fairy. She is the moisture fairy. 
She has a magic bubble to stun enemies. She can also heal you. And summon a magic storm. Pretty much a water spout. This is a good amount of damage. And that's how you cancel your summons if you don't want them around. Alright, let's take Ditto for a test drive. Stop that guy, he's punching me. That's the power of the magic bubble! That's the power of healing! These spirits can get stronger, so even though that heal is actually kind of dinky and even worse than cheese, it, it'll get powerful. It'll get more powerful. Let's go to that rat party and show them what for with the water spout attack. And as long as the spirit is out, they'll drain the, the blue meter very slowly. It's your spirit point meter. Take this! Some of this! Oh, that doesn't last very long. That sound means we're almost out of spirit power, so I'll just unsummon her. They'll unsummon themselves if you actually officially run out. And we can just summon her right back once we get enough spirit power back. The gold armlet actually gets its power from the sun, so as long as you're outside and not in a dungeon or a building, you'll regenerate SP a little slowly. That's a little gold armlet lore for you, in case you're gonna write a fanfiction of this game. Alright, let's get back to the castle. I want to jump down a cliff. I feel like doing so. You can do it in this game. It's just a little finicky as to where. Alright, let's go back and tell Dad that I have a water fairy now. She's awesome! She can heal me when I'm hurt. Oh, speaking of healing. Hey old man, I have a water fairy. Do you want to heal me now? Uh, yes I have. Find some new script and say it. Thank you. I only came for your cheese. See you later, old man. Also, I said something about the, the village vendor down here is the most important guy. He's still selling nothing, but I have a way to gimmick him. Watch this. If you keep on switching screens, eventually he'll stock something in his shop. It depends on what it is. Sometimes it might be fish, sometimes it might be an orange, or maybe a, uh, an item to call Ditto. But most of the time it's gonna sell nothing. See? He's selling fish now! We have a special deal on fish! Let's see if I can make him spawn anything else. He can also spawn our rank up, but it's really, really rare. Ah, I don't want to spend all day just doing that. I think I spent enough time trying to learn how to use sword attacks in the last episode. Let's just get some stuff done. Actually, I've been wondering, uh, okay, we're a royal family, but we don't have a last name. What is it the royal family of? I promised I would get you a name, and I thought of one. It's the royal family Meza. That's right. You know why? Because now I could call Prince Ali, Prince Ali Meza. And that would mean we're going to see King Meza right now. No, it's not a reference to La Mulana. Shut up. It's just the Meza. I like the word Meza. You know, like Black Meza. They make stuff in Half-Life. Alright, Dad, I have a fairy and I also have this. What can I do with this? Can I kill people with it? The story must be true. I didn't believe it until now. You're a protagonist. I'm so sorry. You're going to have to kill more people. And now we have to head to the East Waterfall before the soldiers come back. There's another spirit to be had. Well, that's just great. Thank you for another adventure. I thought I was done after one spirit. I thought Ditto counted for four of them. Alright, we're going to have to go to the East Waterfall. Where is that loser at? Right there! That's pretty close by. I know how to get there. And also, for the heck of it, let's save. You can only save outdoors as well. You go into a dungeon, you no longer can save. There's four battery saves, as you can tell from the, the last episode. So it's pretty much like Zelda in that regard, too. But I actually want to talk a little bit about why did they choose a brawler aspect for their Zelda-type game? Well, Ancient has a pedigree with Streets of Rage. I bet a lot of people know about that. Ancient was responsible for Streets of Rage 2, and I guess they picked up a, quite a few tricks. And they just threw it into this game as well. In fact, their current CEO is the composer of this game, Yuzo Kashiro. 
Yep, he did music for Act Razor, this game. He also did um, Shinobi. And look, fire. That means I should use my water fairy on it. And that opens up a secret. Our first water gem. Water gems are very important. Make sure you grab those. And check your status. And as you can see, we have five more SP out of a hundred and a water gem, which increases Ditto's powers by a little bit. There's 15 gems for every spirit. But we're gonna have to work our way to the East Waterfall now. Which is up in this direction, actually. To go east, you must go north. I don't know. They went a little crazy. Ooh, that looks like a secret. Show me your secrets! Oh. I have nothing to do with this secret just yet. Oh well. There's a little hint about Beyond Oasis. Make sure you crawl through everything. Well, then do it! What am I paying you for? I'm paying you in spirit power. Thank you! And get out of my face. Welcome to the East Waterfall! There are bats here! Ah! Jump kick bats. That's what I like to do. I don't like to leave the map, either. The best thing you can do is jump kick a bat. And also these fish. You want some healing items? Just wait a little while. Keep them away from the water. Push them up on the dry land. And just wait a bit. You will get prizes. Let's make room for these prizes. Ah, uh, Eat an orange and some cheese. Okay, I don't want cheese. It won't let you heal if you're already full. Alright guys, are you going to turn into something anytime today? I could speed it along by kicking him or hitting him with my knife, but... I really don't want to, to waste a chance of getting items. Because every fish that dies on land turns into fish. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, that's a lot of fish! Next time on Beyond Oasis, we go to the East Waterfall. I have fish! Good night, folks.